Good morning, folks. You are listening to Flaming Freedom, where LGBT libertarians shoot the poop. This is your host, Dale. And Lauren. Good morning. And sometimes LGBT libertarians discuss LGBT issues from a from liberty, a liberty perspective. perspective. We sometimes do. Sometimes. Or we just have problems with our bowels. <laughs> what? Because we're shooting the, oh, poop. shooting the poop. I don't know. Were you, well, like, right. were you? Yeah. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So uh, I was going to say that today is kind of <laughs> a sad day. <laughs> It's kind of it's a sad a day. Did you really notice? Really sad day. Did Last you look outside your window and see that there are fall leaves appearing already? I try not to. I really try not to look outside and see that. It's a sad day. See, this is what's this is sad to me because fall has always been my favorite season. It, I think, it remains my favorite season, but in New Hampshire, it's pushing it because it's comes along it's a wonderful season i love the weather the temperature's just right the air is crisp it's beautiful outside especially in new hampshire yeah especially in new hampshire we have beautiful fall colors but it comes with that sense of impending doom it does and the fact that it's august is is just yeah. sad it's scary i guess it's around the right time it's not dreadfully early it is technically is it technically fall what's the official date um, I should know this. I have studied yeah, I don't meteorology. Know. It's and probably it's supposed to like to be time. my thing, but but I, I fall don't know. tends to I don't be know. short too. No, then, none of that stuff should be really official anyway. Like, yeah. why is there some authority that tells us when fall starts? I don't get it. And then winter comes along. There is actually a scientific explanation based on the, there is how a the scientific planets, explanation, but like yeah, to the pick, longest day or the shortest like, day or I don't know. Right? Like, no, the why do I turn winter, eighteen but, at midnight? It's the same kind of thing, right? Kind of, but there's actually weather. There are actually weather phenomena that are somewhat objective like having to do with the shortest day the longest day and the winter solstice is the shortest day i guess of the year and then summer yes, solstice is yes, the longest is. day that's true so there are things that are objective and measurable right that are based on some of these things and i, and I assume the seasons are kind of linked to all that stuff are you familiar with know. the name punxsutawney phil yes yeah Okay, that's Groundhog all I'm going to say. That's how I know that's about That's all yeah. I'm going to say about this stupid yeah. season thing. There's a Groundhog Day movie coming up. It's it's well, it's similar to it's a similar theme. I love those kinds of movies. This is another this is another theme where it's like this young guy in in college or in high school or something mm -hmm. and he wakes up every morning to his mom catching him having a wet dream oh, or something. Yes, to, no, he's like masturbating or something. Yeah, and, I don't and know if he's masturbating or, well, or having or a wet dream. Or as soon as he like as soon as he ejaculates, he like travels back in time or something. It's a stupid <laughs> stupid concept for a movie. I love it. It's love awful. It. Okay, it's so it's terrible. So I was kind of poking fun a little bit there when I said it's a sad day because it's fall, but it, no, it, it's It's a sad day because it's the last flaming freedom. Well, we'll see about Pro that. Possibly. For this, this will depend on you. Yes. No, I know. And I know. you don't know right. if you can renew it. There's later. a lot of things going on right now. My life is extremely busy. So let's give people and the lowdown. Let's give people the full About deal. what I'm doing? The, the whole deal the about whole flaming deal. freedom. Right. It's, this is about flaming freedom. I, and it's... Uh, so this is my last episode as the owner, producer... Etc. of Flaming Freedom, the controller of Flaming Freedom. Now, uh, Lauren is willing to take it over, but not right now. Maybe yes. later. Yes, right? that's true. It's over for me, period. So well, now I've said to Lauren no. that, uh, now here's the thing. <gasps> I, I like doing the show. I enjoy doing it right here, right now, talking to you folks. I'm enjoying it. And then when I'm done here, I have a lot more work to do. I have to edit video, I have to edit audio, and if I don't, I could half-ass it. I could I could crank it through and get something done and get it out, but I would not enjoy that. Like, it, it, I'm either going to do it properly and do it where I'm trying to push the show forward, or I'm not going to do it. And uh, so uh, that's the part where it has finally just worn me down, where it's a significant chunk of my week uh, uh, to do the show every week. And I, it's just not, I don't get enough of a sense of people are engaging us like this is a talk show yes it it's is. okay if we don't get calls calls in necessarily but if there were like comments if there were people saying oh that some sense of people are being engaged by the things we're talking about there's really not much of that and I, and i cannot i could just couldn't justify it anymore to keep doing um without any kind of sense of of that we're engaging people which is the whole point of the show so um and that's fine i i this is it's good for me i've got other things i want to work on and do and uh I enjoy doing the show, so I've told Lauren, if mm -hmm. you take it up later, it's not practical to do right now because of your schedule. Yeah. It's, and it's, things you're expecting things to possibly, quite possibly change in the future where you can do it. 
Yes. It's not a definite thing, though. It's we're not. This may be the last show. Uh, I, I don't think it will. Okay. I, I really Lawrence, don't think it will. Lawrence, I, the I, one who's who's the say has say in the matter, and she says she doesn't think that's going to no, be the it's, case. No, it's not going to happen. I so, just I just don't know when the next. So this is will probably, be. according to Lauren, and she's the one that has say in saying this. This is probably not the last show, but it is the last show for a while because she can't take it up right now. And I have said though that I like doing the show, and if you want me on as a co-host, however often you want me, mm-hmm. you can have me on every week. As, as I have you on right now, you can have me on every other week, once a month. If you have lots of other people you want to bring on and you don't need to have me on every week, that's also totally fine with me. But I will be on pretty much about as often as you want me to be on, okay. unless I have some conflict. Right. So I'll be on every week if you want. But then as soon as I walk out that door, I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> like you will have to edit shows, edit video if you want it, all that stuff. Now, I, now here's the, here's the thing. I am, I am still, I'm not giving up the Flaming Freedom YouTube channel. I'm giving up the podcast, right? As far as the talk show and the podcast, I'm giving up control of that. I might still do videos. I might even come in the studio and, and do some sort of, some, some sort of a discussion or video just probably by myself where I'll say something and it'll post to the, to the channel, to the YouTube channel. I want to keep that active because that has shown a little more uh, the, I've, I've, uh, that's become the, we're actually a partner on YouTube, right? And that right. is largely because of the Lesbian Porn Viagra Boner Challenge, which is my baby. I've, I'm very proud of it. The Lesbian Porn Viagra Boner Challenge. Check that out on YouTube. And uh, and so I'm not giving that up, but I am giving up this downloaded podcast and the talk show. Uh, I'm giving. I'm basically letting Lauren completely just take the reins of that. Yes, so. but in a few months, not right now, right? Because I can't. Right. Um, I'm also producing Sex, Lies, and Anarchy. I'm, I've just, I've got a full plate right now. Right. Well, it's yours, whether or not you start now or later. Mm-hmm. And it, and like you said, it'll be later. For oh, sure. boy. It's a lot of responsibility. But um, Lauren is saying it's likely that she will pick it, pick up the I baton. Just, what do you? Uh, it's likely that you I'm will right pick here. up the baton. Right? <laughs> Lauren is saying I'm it's likely. I'm I, confirming I, Yes, it is okay. likely. <laughs> I'm speaking to our listeners. I'm I know. sorry. I'm no, sorry. it's funny. It's just okay. funny. I'm speaking to our I, listeners. You know what it is, Dale? I really yeah. should move into a uh, microphone, too, because then we could see each other and talk. Better. Oh, that's... T- yeah, go I'm ahead. Just way over here we, in the corner. I'm, I'm totally... You know, I'm, that's what I would prefer normally. So, I, I, of course, there was, the, there was the faint hope that Neil would actually show up at, before the show started. On time, yeah. Yeah. Well, in true Flaming Freedom style, though, he's, right. he's not here on time. Exactly. So it's okay. See, that's like, the thing. It, may, I, it really warms my heart to see this happen. Go ahead and switch seats while I'm going to talk a little bit about Neil. Ooh, you you think, be switching I don't know seats. if I'm that talented. Go ahead and switch seats. Uh, and um, so here's the thing about Neil. <laughs> I thought about saying, I thought about sending him an email or a text and saying, Neil, please, please, the last show, just this one time. Yeah. Just this one time. Could you show up on time? Like, just show up but 10 minutes before the show starts. Just this one time because it's the last show. But then I thought, well, ho- no, this is nostalgic. As long as it's our last show, it should be consistent. And, and, and Neil not being here on time. <laughs> It's totally uh, kind of nostalgic, right? It's it's sort of the uh, the expectation. If you if you're gonna do a show, I don't know about other things. Like as far as Neil, he he claims that if you're paying him to do a job, and if you pay him to do something, he's like incredibly reliable, and he's on time, and he dresses nice, all that stuff. He claims that. But uh, if you're gonna do a show and you're not gonna pay him, I'm gonna suggest that you. Uh, pick someone other than neil and he'll never listen to this show so he won't even know what i'm saying about him so <laughs> so if you're gonna do it if you're gonna do a show you're on you're live oh i am if you're oh, if you're um if you're um so if you're gonna do a show uh don't pick neil as like an, a co-host if you need him to be there on time unless you're paying him well yeah. unless you're paying him right mm-hmm. if you pay if you he says that he says he says he, that that's what makes him reliable is being paid i think the that somebody out there should figure out how to get the money, and we should actually test this out to see if it's see true. if he shows up on time when yeah. he's getting paid. Yeah, we should just have yeah. one show, like the, he page, claims the paid it. show. He claims it, you know. Mm. Wow, we're already gone through the first segment. I That's know, because well, we're so nostalgic. Just talking we, meta, getting meta I, about flaming freedom. It's I'm very emotional. I, I'm not Dale. talking much because I'm emotional. And Lauren, and we'll the right new back. host, the new host of Flaming Freedom in the future, Lauren. We'll be right back. Flaming Freedom. Stay tuned. We are back. Folks, those of you who have chosen to tune in live, either via Ustream or the Liberty Radio Network, are hearing Flaming Freedom Live. You can call in 
via Skype to In Your Head shows. This is your host, Dale. And Lauren. And Neil. Neil is with us. Hi, he's Neil. only one segment late. <laughs> Welcome. And we poked a little oh. fun at him. He claims he's going to listen to the first No, we didn't poke show. fun. We were very happy that you were late because it was just I was, in true... I was poking In the fun. tradition. You, oh. you know what? I, fun at him. I forgot my glasses. I should <laughs> probably go back. Yeah, yeah, go on, yeah, I'll be should, back. Go on back and just come back whenever. Yeah. Just, I should just whatever, you know. Whenever it's too. convenient to show up, mm-hmm. you know, for the live show. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go change. Is that cool? Because I'm, I'm going to the office after <laughs> yes, this, right. and jeans and a t-shirt just won't you work both, there. You both of you could go, and okay. I'll just, I'll, I'll, okay. I'll entertain the crowd. Well, that's how it while. started. It started out with you <laughs> up here one night talking about Breaking Bad. We talked about this last show. And then you're like, hey, you want to come sit with me? And I was like, yeah, I'll come sit with you. And then I sat down here and, and I like stared at you and I didn't talk. I don't talk, think and it, it didn't started with me by talk. myself, though. No, 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 that's how I started. Oh, Sorry. Okay. No, no, the show started kind of from Free Talk Live and from a, a, like a, you, you guys have talked about and it. And you think claim that your first show on, we talked about Breaking Bad. Well, I was, that wasn't even, it was like a, uh, a bonus segment afterwards. It was uh, with Sabriel and Jason and then they left. And this was oh, like okay. an after the show kind oh, of thing. Okay. And, I, and then I sat in the chair and I was like. Oh, I guess I can talk into a mic, maybe. Um, but so we like, burst your cherry that day. You remember? I don't. I was like, I'll, I'll never talk into a mic. Oh no, 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 right. no, no. I don't want to. I don't want to be in the show. No, that and was then, how I started out. But then you tried it, and you never went back. And now you're here. yes, yes. Here I am. <laughs> and now you may very well be the host of the show. Uh, it, I think it might be months, a better show not right now. I actually, I sincerely think that it may end up being a better show when Lauren is uh, is um. Oh, right. oh, oh, I'm trying to Ooh. just make it so we can see Neil a little bit there or not, something. Not or you can pull a little more that way, however it works. Like right now, it's, um, yeah. So anyway. Yeah, um, so hey. uh, it might actually be a better show sure. when Lauren is um, in charge of it. I feel like I, there's times when I feel like it, I, I, it's hard to say exactly. Like there's times I feel like it was more a better show for a little while. I think like After Dark was very popular when we started doing that. And then I sort of tried to make. I, See, I, I thought well, I that's didn't popular. like the after dark segments. Oh, it was, really? It was just too much for me. I was like, oh, 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 I I like oh no, I'm not sex. Oh no, those. what's that? I yeah. forgot all about. Those. Well, that's because we basically just made the regular show. The regular after show. show. Yeah. yeah. I, 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 my, my thought was that was what was really popular. So I thought, well, let's just make that the regular show. I, though I do feel like maybe some people, we lost some people. People weren't quite as as, as enthusiastic about the show when we. Kind of made after dark the regular kind of a regular show. So right, I don't know. Maybe right. they, they they like that distinction because we had the the regular show where we would mostly talk about things that were happening in the world and mm-hmm. and and give our our give our take on these LGBT issues that were happening from a libertarian perspective. We'll do a little bit of that today, by the way. There's stuff coming up. Right. We're going to talk about a a, a barn. A place that that has a fancy barn, a fancy <laughs> barn where they conduct weddings. <laughs> <laughs> they conduct weddings there. Yes, and yes, I've, I've, we're going to talk about that. This. For instance, mm-hmm. we're going to talk about some things like that. But yeah, maybe some people enjoyed that and and were listening for that, and they got frustrated when we did more after dark stuff in the regular show. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you'll figure that, some of that stuff out. But I would, I would, enc- I would encourage you not to do. Too much to the left there. You're okay. You're still... I want to keep you in the can. Now that okay. I recall that I fact, see. I realize there's so much more incriminating quotes out there by myself. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I don't know. Neil Neil's got ang- ang- sort of anxious about even being associated with the show because you want to do politics or something like that. I guess. Why I is know. that? Let's, let's, ju- let's just, let's just get it out on the air right now. Work, what, like, what is it that... Because I, I, you know, I kind of... Because I should have done this show under a pseudonym all along. Oh, because you didn't start with a pseudonym. That's correct. Oh, okay. Mm. See, I do this show with my real name. Well, if there is such a thing. Um, <laughs> but yeah, pseudonym. Yeah, no, that would be cool. I, I use yeah. a pseudonym for a lot of things that I do, but here I actually use my real name because I like. Well, and then the side effect of that is that he won't even like click like on the show. He's well, a host here's, on the here's show. The thing. Let's, and on Facebook, he won't even click like. I and share. I sometimes much less share. Don't because. click like on stuff I see on Flaming Freedom because there's like this like you know, dude, or like with a shirt off and like, it just, it just, I'm like, Ooh. it's all right. It tr- kind of turns me off a little. And so I haven't, I like, I kind of like quickly scroll past it, but yeah. then I forget like, Oh sh- shoot, I was supposed to click like, see and, I, my attitude about any of that. If it's something that I want to support, no, and I do want to support any sex, it, but if I see any SLA link, even for, if I disagree with it, I'm going to click like, because it's like, that's Antigone and you and my, my buddies, I'm going to do that because if I disagree with I just, it, I, that's I a won't. way of supporting it. That's a way of, Getting it seen by more people, and it's a show I want to see promoted and mm-hmm. things like that. 
And so I don't know. Okay. But, uh, but I have to say part of the, th- one of the things that I find, uh, uh discouraging that it's maybe has not helped to keep me motivated to keep doing the show is I don't even see as many likes as we have co- regular co-hosts on the show. Like if you're uh, a regular co-host yes. on the show and you take the time mm-hmm. to come over for two hours, maybe once a month or so, maybe a little, right. whatever you click like on all the shows. Yeah. Maybe part uh, of the problem is, or, or at least if it happened often enough that I'd like, okay, but I, I see usually the likes I see on a regular basis that are, re- that are reliable are like my two different, uh, like, uh, uh, abilities to click like as a, both Dale and Flaming Freedom. Yeah. No, I've, I've seen that. I've seen <laughs> that. One of which is masturbation. You know, I'm I know exactly like what as I, Flaming Freedom on our own show. I know exactly what it is. So though. I feel like I, it's, so I definitely, I feel like I'm talking to, do you want to know to what, air. what the, like cul- just the air. culprit is? There's no one's listening. Well, here's, here's the thing. So you told everybody to get off Facebook for like the longest time, for like the last year. <laughs> Do you think like, it works? Get off Facebook. Is that get it? Off Facebook. Everyone got off? And all the listeners are like, yeah, we don't need Facebook. Screw that. So like me, for example, mm-hmm. I might go on Facebook once every like four days or something. Yeah. So if, if in those four days you put up stuff for Flaming Freedom, I won't click on it because I'm not on. So there, okay. that, I mean, so it might be that, that you, Maybe I was you, successful you, you were successful to get off Facebook. And, and well, it's not just Facebook. That's not the only indicator. There's also downloads. Like, well, oh, I, yeah, can, I can rate that. It hasn't There's changed. There's a lot of metrics. It, the downloads for Flaming Freedom, so people know, has not changed since we started. Okay. Are, wow. are, are, are there's, you no, sure? there's no measurable increase in total downloads of the podcast since maybe two or three months after the show. There was like a rapid increase the first two or three months after the show. Mm-hmm. And then there's been no increase for three years. Are you sure those aren't like bots? Just downloading our podcast and sure. posting them on repositories, and really, no one's listening. I, I'm I, not sure I, exactly. That's no, exactly. No, the I know point. that people <laughs> listen. That, that people no. co- like at, like say, "Hey, all, oh, you're from Flaming Freedom." Yeah, like, there's like pe- four listeners. Like people listen. It's four listeners. No, and they're very those four, four listeners. More than four. The, uh, those okay, eight listeners. Those eight like listeners six. are extremely <laughs> yeah. Those six listeners are extremely upset that the show is yes, ending. They're yes. ter- they're just mortified, mortified that the show is ending. Those listeners, those eight, those six listeners that are passionate, listen to us every week. They don't even click like on our YouTube channel or Facebook or anywhere or whatever. But but mm. they're very upset. They're very upset. They're worse shows. I'm upset too. <laughs> I, no, I'm 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 really holding it back. But I'm I'm no. This this show has meant a lot to me yeah. over the years. Well, that, I, I, that's the sad thing. I think is that there are a few people who who. Uh, it really did, you know, it did a lot for them. Like they, they, you know, hearing it, they, I've heard, I've had every K, every now and then someone said, wow, this did a lot for me. But unfortunately it wasn't, a, it didn't get them to like spread the show, help spread the show. Cause, and so, yeah. 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 At some point I just, I, well, some, sometimes I wonder, should I have like dipped into my pocket and spent like a lot of money on some ads somewhere? Well, I promoted through Free Talk Live and stuff like that. I feel like that's a little bit incestuous. It wasn't that helpful. So, I don't know. I, I, and we spent on Facebook, but Facebook scammed us. They actually hurt us. The money we spent on Facebook for promotion hurt us. And that's what Neil talked me into doing. We'll How be back. The, this is well, Flaming Freedom. Okay. This is your host, Dale. And Lauren. We'll be right back. And Neil. Good morning, folks, and welcome back to Flaming Freedom, where LGBT libertarians shoot the poop. This is your host, Dale. And Lauren. And Neil. So we've been extremely meta, and I'm going to wrap that yeah, up now. Well, because it's, it's a very emotional thing, and I'm trying to like not, right. not think about it, but we just keep going back to it. Right. So I basically ended with, we spent money to promote on Facebook. Don't yeah. do that. That's a scam. Yeah, no, It that, will you, hurt you more than it helps you. We won't go into more detail last, about it. I've discussed yeah, it on a previous episode. Yeah. Go check it out. Uh, cr- Catholics. I thought uh, it would be yes. appropriate, number one, to have a Christian derp on the last show. Mm-hmm. Because that's been a theme of ours that we are not always consistent with. Mm -hmm. So we need to have a Christian derp. And uh, on top of that, there's Satanism. So that's even better. Because Mm -hmm. I like to, you know, promote my homies. I'm not sure if these guys are are my... I don't know if they're with Church of Satan, which is my preferred Uh, version of Satanism. But uh, so these guys... uh, So apparently there was a lawsuit. The Oklahoma City Archbishop... Hold on. Yes. The Oklahoma City Archbishop. I swear I took my asthma medicine today. All right. The Oklahoma City Archbishop dropped his lawsuit against a devil worshiper. Yeah. Which, by the way, I'm the article says devil worshiper. I am skeptical whether they understand what they're talking about because most Satanists are not devil worshippers. Right. I know that's confusing for folks if you're new to this subject. Mm-hmm. But most Satanists, if you're of the Church of Satan, are atheist. They don't believe in God. They don't believe in the devil. 
as anything other than a symbol. So they don't worship the devil, just to be clear on that. Right, but that's that's right. what an ignorant, of course, ignorant standard viewpoint of most of a predominantly Christian viewpoint. We have a country that's predominantly Christian. They think they believe in the devil. They assume so, that if you're a Satanist, you're a devil worshiper, which is understandable. I'm still not a fan of the Satanists. I think they're just it's like being mean. It's like trolling. Um, but we've talked about that on other shows. Yes, so we talked I don't about want on to other get shows. into it. We won't I go just, into it again. I, I disagree. It's just mean. Like, why would you call yourself that? Like. Well, if you're for debunking, the reason that it inspires fear in people that are utterly irrational. But can't we all? Just I think like Neil's kind of getting to it. And for, if, I'm, if I'm debunking those... a if I'm debunking a belief system that I consider to be harmful, like actually uh-huh. very destructive and harmful to society and culture. Right. But okay, then it's not going to seem nice when I criticize it. It's not going to seem nice. I'm sorry. Sure, but and if, especially if, if I'm saying it's irrational, I'm trying to point out that irrational. If a fundamental belief of, of what Satan or the devil is for a Christian is that Satan is someone who's going to trick you into thinking that he doesn't exist. <laughs> if you No, I'm serious. That's yeah, like know. that's that's the that's idea just, of what Satan is. But this is if, why and they're then so if you fucking say, stupid. Well, there is no Satan, but I'm and I'm a Satanist. There, then the Christians are like, yeah, you were yeah. right. We win. Right. Like well, then it's not a good argument. <laughs> against a christian <laughs> that's why i wouldn't use it that's why that's, i wouldn't say right. i'm a satanist of course also because well, i like see, to have my halo over my thing. head but that's you here's know, the thing different. that archbishop is so fucking down the road of irrationality i know he is beyond at, hope look at him stare at that these wafer. guys these guys are <laughs> way down they're they're lost causes they're gonna just have to we just got to wait for them to die off no well i mean but the next generation nice. but go on sorry <laughs> Those guys are way lost causes. They're, they're, we just have to wait for the really s- deeply, deeply indoctrinated, uh, deeply, deeply um, irrational, married to their, to their irrational beliefs forever. Some of those people just have to eventually die off. They're beyond hope. I'm not making that argument for them. But there's a younger generation coming up that has the hope. There's hope for them. They're actually like looking on the internet. They're seeing different ideas. Even if their parents are Christian, a lot of them are seeing uh, ideas that, that uh, challenge irrational beliefs. And a lot of them, there's a, a tremendous hope for them. So I don't do it for those people. Yes, I know those people have the, as part of their foundation of belief that Satanism, that Satanists actually want to convince us that Satan doesn't exist. And here's the thing. This is funny to me. Uh, people getting possessed by the devil. It's always religious people. <laughs> that is funny. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's always religious people. Well, because they're not possessed yeah, by the devil. Yeah, I know. I know. That's crazy. why it's funny. Those, it's religious, those religious people who get possessed by demons and devil and the devil and stuff like that. People, if you talk to people who are doing that, they're like, look, this is proof of Christianity. I'm like, is it? Then why would they do that? Why would demons and devils possess people if all it does is reinforce force people's faith? Right, because <laughs> if their goal is to convince you that the devil and demons don't exist, why ever possess anyone? Why would a demon or a devil or the devil himself ever possess anyone well, if it just reinforces people's faith? Because the and, documented it's always... cases of possession have gone down over the last few centuries, so I, I think that yeah. the devils are catching on. <laughs> right. Uh, there's there's right. really some evidence to prove that that Satan yeah. is, is on top of things. Right, and it's yeah. only religious people who are kooky who get possessed, so to speak. Well, yeah, I mean, so, would like yeah, I would possess right. a crazy person. Like, like you don't want to possess <laughs> right, a sane, right. rational person because they're just going to be like they're going to like lock themselves in their room. But like a crazy yeah. person, you could do all kinds of stuff. Right? So oh. It's just this, this nonsense falls apart on so many levels. It's mm-hmm. just fucking ridiculous. Being, so, so he's dropping being a Satanist too is also a symbol of freedom because in centuries past, it it wasn't it wouldn't be a lawsuit that you'd be charged with. You'd be tied up at the stake and burnt for right. not even being a Satan worshiper, but a heretic. Yeah. And there are countries in the world like Saudi Arabia who uh, charge people with uh, witchcraft and uh, just a few weeks ago had a public beheading on it. On the same day as that uh, alleged um, beheading of the journalist, that the video for which looks entirely faked, um, there were 19 beheadings in Saudi Arabia. In this backward ass um, shithole of a country, and so Satanism is a, a direct, um, direct fu. It's a challenge to the tyranny. To millions and of religion. Yeah. State started as religion. Yeah. At some point, they separated, and God was the excuse for people. The divine right of kings was that the kings were chosen by God, and they had the authority of God. It eventually transitioned over for a increasingly 
sort of agnostic or, or diverse religions. So they couldn't tie religion to the state anymore eventually. And mm -hmm. eventually it sort of transitioned over. But statism and religion, they are, they are almost one and the same. Religion was the origin of it. And, and people who try to talk about freedom from a religious point of view just crack me up. Just crack, you are got to be kidding me. So, so let's get to the actual story. The Archbishop of Oklahoma City was doing a lawsuit against a devil-worshipping group. Again, that's their words. I'm not sure that applies. To, uh, who had threatened to defile a consecrated communion wafer allegedly stolen from the Roman Catholic Church. So they stole a wafer. It's like a <laughs> tiny cracker, and they're getting a lawsuit over this. Mm-hmm. Which just goes to show you how stupid these people are, that well, they think that wafer means shit. And that's the whole point, right? That's the whole no, reason they're doing does, this. But that's, like, you should not, you shouldn't, the, the value of, a, of an individual is, is really important, and, like, you should respect that. The if, wafer? If, yeah, if they, I mean, like, the wafer? They, they might be willing to spend a million dollars to get that wafer back. W what if it's gone? Well, then they have to... To mourn it, they what, mourn what, the what? loss of the okay, wafer. Okay, but, but, but legally, what are you entitled to if someone steals a wafer and they eat it? I don't care about the If I if I if I if I sneak food and eat it, legally, what are you entitled? This is they're they're pursuing law though. They're going oh, through I the see, legal right. system. They're into that. Let's um, uh, yes, th th that's the point. I don't care what they say. I don't care if they say this is horribly offensive. Right. That was the goal of the Satanists was to offend them horribly. Yes. And get them to and just rattle people's thinking and, and get them did. to think about this stupid little fucking cracker. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um so the lawsuit filed in district court in Oklahoma County on Wednesday. The people, the lawyers representing the bishop. The archbishop demanded the return of a, commu a cracker, of the cracker, the, the communion wafer. <laughs> okay. The archdiocese brought the action after the leader of the group said he and his followers would offer it to Satan in a carnal sacrifice at a black mass ceremony next month inside Oklahoma City's Civic Center Music Hall. So this is all, by the way, parody. They are parodying the Catholic Church. And how stupid it is with their black mass ceremony. Like, they're not, I, I think, I think, again, it depends on which Satan church this is, but the, there's a certain, there's certain Satanists who really, they are, they're sort of like, uh, they're almost like, what is the word for it? Performance artists, right? Making a statement with performance art about the stupidity of religion. Yes. And, and I think that's a very powerful way to, to, to do so. If you're, again, you're critiquing something for its absurdity. So they do a parody version of it, and it gets people thinking. Mm -hmm. right? It's a cracker, people. It's a cracker. <laughs> it's a snack. This is Dale. And Lauren. And Neil. We'll talk some more about the cracker when we come back. This is Flaming Freedom. Welcome back to Flaming Freedom, where we discuss LGBT issues from a liberty perspective. And sometimes we just make fun of religion, which is what we're doing at the moment. Um... I will not make fun of. We're cr critiquing the irrationality of religion. Yes, and that's what the Church of Satan is all about. But even because some, even that, like, I can't speak. This is why we need to take a break because I, I don't know how to talk. <laughs> I shouldn't be on a talk show. Um, <laughs> you're gonna be, you're gonna be in charge. You'll I know. Great. You'll I've got great. a lot of responsibility. You're, you'll be good. fantastic. There's, a, there's respecting property rights though that we haven't really addressed. Here. I mean, like stealing that cookie. Yeah, it's just a cookie. Well, here's, whatever. here's some things, but, right? So, so they, so the Satanist folks said, forget it. We're giving the cookie. We're giving it back because we don't want a lawsuit. Yes. They're like, and this happens with a lot of lawsuits. They're just such a pain in the ass to fight, yeah. and and it's tremendously expensive and terrifying and all this stuff that it's not worth it. Even if you feel like I have a very good chance of winning, it doesn't. It's not necessarily worth it to fight it. So they gave the damn cookie back. Mm -hmm. This is just a cookie. It's not worth a lawsuit. And meanwhile, they won anyway because they got a lot of publicity. The fact that they that the church charged a lawsuit kind of showed how absurd they're being about the damn cracker. Right. Right. So, uh, so it, 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 they kind of won in my opinion anyway, to an extent. So my suggestion was go to, go, go to any communion, let them put the cracker on your tongue and then take it out and maybe on video or not. It doesn't even matter if you do or not. Cause it's all just let them put the t cracker on your tongue, then go and do the bat mask with it. Cause they gave it to you. Now it's not stealing. I was kind of wondering if that's what happened. Right. But apparently, here's the thing, and then I brought this up on a forum somewhere. No, I don't think that's what happened. But, okay. Or they, they didn't claim that's what happened. I don't know. So a friend of, uh, someone on a forum said, hey, but apparently a lot of Catholics are aware of this kind of shenanigans. Mm -hmm. And so they say beforehand, 
that only Catholics should come up and do communion. You have to be Catholic. So then they can claim fraud, theft by fraud. If you are, if you right, come up and do right. communion, you're not a tech, you don't consider yourself a Catholic. So that, but, but how could they say like, well, we got this from someone who changed really, we, we persuaded it. Well, they'd have to change before they even swallowed the cracker. Right. So, so my thought is, okay, do it like that. Go ahead and do it. Do the black mass. Mm-hmm. And then afterward, explain how you got it. And then they can say, Hey, you stole the cracker by fraud. This is how ridiculous the legalities of it get over this damn cracker. You stole the cracker by thra- fraud. So, and, and then they can try to sue and they go, okay, well, we already ate the cracker or we ground it up and put it into a solution and injected up someone's butt in a black mass. Uh, so. Is that how it works? I maybe. Haven't, I haven't been to a black mass Maybe. Before. I mean, if you're going to try to do an offensive parody of a, of, a, of a Catholic communion, maybe you'd inject it up people's rectum, right, Neil? Uh, right? Uh, yeah. And, I, and that would be my procedure. So let's say you, you did that. Me. And then you said, well, it's already gone. It's gone. We can get you some poop maybe if you want. Um. Some digested Jesus Christ body. So if it's already gone, then what can they do? They just compensate him for the price of the cracker. Right? Sure. Now the church can well, claim, what, no, 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 that's not price, just a cracker. That's priceless, the body of though, Christ. Dale. That's the body of Christ. Yeah. That, but that's not going to be priceless. legally recognized. That would be a, 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 a that would be obviously, a, uh, would that not be a violation of church and state for them to legally recognize it as the body of Christ? You can't legally recognize it. That's completely a religious thing. Your religion can do that, but legally it's a fucking cracker. Mm-hmm. Right? So then it's done. So I'm, I don't know. If, I'm hoping these Satanist folks will listen to me. Here's some suggestions for the next time you do this. Yeah, what's... <laughs> <laughs> First of all, inject it up someone's butt <laughs> during the black mass. They probably won't do that because they probably want to be able, be able to be a public black mass. And there's probably... They need to keep it PG-13, probably. Mm-hmm. So, um... But, uh... <laughs> a PG-13 mass. A PG-13 black mass. <laughs> Where there's boobs. <laughs> so, so do that. And then they can sue you, but a cracker's gone already. And then, uh, and say, so, oh, just say, it doesn't even matter. Just buy the cracker. It doesn't matter because it's just a cracker. Buy a cracker or buy a pack of crackers that are, that they use for these things. Use it in the ceremony. It, say that you got it because the, the Catholics, it's all about the ritual, right? The Catholics get upset because they used it in the, say that you got it by going up to communion. And if they say, well, but that's fraud, like, well, no, the, say, say the communion we went to in this little small church, they did not announce beforehand, only Catholics come up. Mm-hmm. You could say that. You can say what you want. It doesn't you're matter. You're just trying to figure out a way to troll the Catholic church. Is that what you're going to be doing while you're, you're not Again, on the, I'm sorry that you call show. it trolling, but I say that it's a parody, which is a form of crit- criticism, which is completely valid and effective Trolls for making can a be, point. can criticize as well. That's the whole, like... Yeah. Well, you can call it trolling. It's, it's a negative swing on it. You're putting a negative swing on something that is, I think, a positive well, thing. Well, but it's mean. You, you, you say nice it's mean. Catholics? You say it's mean, but the Catholics are hurting people because they're so yes, full of yes. shit. And it's, right. well, it's well, actually hurt, a like, good thing to criticize irrational belief systems. Yeah. It's helpful and, and, and productive for society like, to criticize irrational belief systems right. that are deluding people into wasting their lives. But like, take it to the source. Having, Don't like pick on some little silly church that has a, a cracker in, in doesn't Oklahoma. Matter. It's not, like, it's not go that to the church. Pope and be like, hey, Pope. I'm just stealing your hat. It's, it's and not, they're not picking on, on that little church. They're just, they're, it's just their excuse to avoid a lawsuit over a cracker. Right? Uh, it's the fucking Catholic church that's willing to sue people over a cracker to keep, uh, because their, their, their belief system is on such fragile foundation that, that someone defiles this cracker. It's, it, they feel like that's harmful to them. That's how ridiculous the belief system, that's how fragile the belief system is. It's mm-hmm. on such fragile foundations that that cracker means something to them. So these are just some ideas. I'm just throwing some ideas out there. If you're Satanist and you're listening, I, I love for you to get this done and uh, and go forward with it because you've, they've, they've already gotten started. They've gotten some great publicity over the stupid lawsuit. Now they can find a way to go forward without the lawsuit. Mm-hmm. And and I think that's that's maybe a way to go about it. And they can you know keep brainstorming, find a way like okay, they sue you, pay them for the cracker. How much was the cracker? 35 cents? If you buy them in bulk, I don't know. Probably, I'll give you two bucks. Probably less we'll than give you two that. bucks. <laughs> we'll compensate you for stealing the cracker. <laughs> but you're hurting their feelings. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. They're hurting their feelings. I feel bad. Because they're 
Idiots. I, I, I'm probably hurting their feelings right now. Are they going to sue me because I'm hurting their feelings? They should. They should. They should we should totally have a the big, last a big show. Lawsuit. Like we're ha- the very uh-huh. last show, we get sued because yes. we're criticizing the Catholic Church. That would be so cool. We, like, what a way to go out. If we really want to make sure to get sued, then let's talk about Scientology. Ah. Uh, yeah. I'll let you talk about it, Neil. <laughs> Oh, there's nothing new in that world. Let me go get my most, guy Fox Most people mask. accept that Scientology is kooky, though. Right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, Except for the Scientologists, for which well, they, of course, claim there are far more than there truly are. But in, in many ways, it's a form of slavery once you get indoctrinated. Uh, they really have you accept their form of authority and then submit to their types of punishments if you think bad thoughts or you have contact with the outside world. There are entire camp retreats that they essentially perform torture in. Wow. Deprive you of food, deprive you of uh, sleep, um, work you to the bone to the point of... To keep uh, you clear. It's to keep you clear, Neil. Exactly. So that you achieve clarity and are not um, being manipulated by the... the, What are they called? The, 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 the body themes. Thegans? The Thegans? Thetans. 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 Well, you have a Thetan. No, you, you want to have oh. a Thetan. The, thetan, the, the well, Thetans are like the Metachlorians, right? I well, thought the Thetans were m- manipulating you negatively. Well, Everyone has a Thetan. That's their concept of soul. But what's been trapped uh, in your body since the time of Xenu are body <laughs> Thetans, uh, which are uh, souls of dead aliens that have trapped themselves onto your body and so you want to clear yourself of your body things and also your engrams but your engrams are mostly caused by body things you know the only reason well, this sounds more stupid than no, say I, catholic or general or general fundamentalist christian is because most people are fundamentalist christian <laughs> like more well, people have been raised in that they've been surrounded by it like it wouldn't sound any more ridiculous just because it's aliens instead of uh, I think it's angels great, or what demons or whatever it is it's a great right? celebration of self-ownership though like that you're or, cleansing yourself yeah. of thetans and okay. that you own your own body. Like, I think it's wonderful. <laughs> the Scientology is, is great. We really need to promote this on yeah. the show and not really, criticize it. Is it more ridiculous than just fundamentalist Christianity? Is it? Is, or is it just that, that it's new? It's, it, it, we haven't been indoctrinated enough as a culture in it. We haven't been surrounded by enough uh, Scientologists, and we haven't been immersed in them enough for us to sort of accept it as, a, as, an, as something that we should be tolerant of. <laughs> And not criticize. Or is it, I mean, is, is I, it really any... Is, Neil, I, what are your thoughts on I'm this? I'm not told that I should be tolerant of Christianity <laughs> either, you, though. But go ahead, Neil. We shouldn't tolerate irrationality. I think we should ridicule it just like we ridicule people who uh, uh, believe in all sorts of woo-woo. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't see it as uh, being any different, and I, it's actually far more destructive in people's lives, so we need to route it out. And uh, there was a post on Facebook I saw recently of uh, the League of Militant Atheists was an actual organization within the Soviet Union uh, for which they would go around and pretty much berate people into accepting atheism. Um, <laughs> wow. And I think it, it was fantastic. You should see their propaganda posters. All right, folks. Lauren's going to tell us some good things about uh, Catholicism when we come back. I'll try. This is Flaming Freedom. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Hour 2 of Flaming Freedom. Those of you who are listening live, that's wonderful. You can be watching us on Ustream or via the Liberty Radio Network. And this is normally when I would say, those of you who aren't listening live, you should do so next week. But I'm not going to say that because this is the last Flaming Freedom, at least for a while. Although Lauren has assured us that she expects to take up the baton later on, maybe this year. Yeah, I uh, certainly think so. months or so. Um, There's a lot of things changing in my Mm -hmm. life and... We'll see. We'll yeah. See. So there's, November, a, there's, there's maybe? optimism, maybe. but it's not for sure. Not for Just sure. To be no. clear on it for everyone. It's not for sure. Uh, it will be Lauren's show at that point, not mine. Although I in, I do intend to continue with the YouTube channel. Yes. And if you continue to do video, I will absolutely be glad to post it there. Right. Mm-hmm. As well, you know, you can yeah, continue no, to have it as a download. I still podcast. need to make that uh, the transition video because there's so many of right. those on the internet of it. It's like photos of all these like trans people who are like, oh, look at me, I'm a man. Oh, now I'm a woman. <laughs> Um, I need to make that because have you been making videos? Well, I've been capturing during... all of the all of the the photos, whatever. The, oh, hi, hello, everybody. Oh, okay. Um, the the cameras. Oh. So like I've actually taken it and I can put it together and like look at the transition and like look right. at my hair grow and look and yeah, it'll be cool. all right. 
It'll be interesting. That'll be that will be interesting. We'll definitely post that on the channel. Yep. Uh, the YouTube channel. I am re- retaining. I do intend to retain ownership of that channel, and I have some possible things I'll do with it in okay. addition to possibly posting any shows that you want to post on there. But the show, uh, as far as being a downloadable podcast, all that stuff uh, would be Lauren's. So uh, we'll see. see I, I promise if I am still on the continent in November, <laughs> okay. I will do the show. Oh, why might, might you not be on the continent? I might be traveling. Okay. But if all I'm right. not traveling, I will definitely do the show. All right. So, so there's a fair degree of confidence for those of you who are upset about the show. And, I, and I'll be back uh, as, a, as a guest co-host, however often you want me again. So. That'd be great. And if you don't mind people showing up late and stuff, you can even invite Neil occasionally or something. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So tell us about Catholics and why they're not. Yeah, so we're totally still talking about, about Catholics. Everything. Well, it, all right. So I'm actually kind of having a little bit of apprehension about this article. I took it from uh, Catholic.org, which is a very fun, fun website. You should totally check it out. And it's good for a laugh. Um, you guys heard me just like snort right now laughing. <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> it's a good time. Um, but. I'm actually noticing that the t- the the headline of the article has changed since last night. Really? Yeah, it's it's currently called "Is Transgenderism a Mental Disorder or a Right?" Right. And last night it was called it was it was called like something like "Warning: Gender Identity Movement Threat to Blah Blah Blah." blah. Like, oh, it was very different. So now I'm kind of even thinking like maybe this isn't even the article I read. Um, oh dear. But it's the same author. It's it's um, uh, Deacon Keith A. Fournier. Um, they have a they have a, a graphic here that has a a, a multicolored umbrella I, that I says do like transgender the, and then a bunch of things underneath it. Yes, right. There's there's. It's, um, I'm interested that that Butch fits into transgender. <laughs> but I didn't know that. I and Neil's femme, right? You're Neil. Or Neil, are you femme? Is she. I hey, Where, Sorry, Neil. Am I femme? What do you mean? No. Yes. No. Who would? You're bottom, right? Aren't you a bottom? Who's, uh, Wait. what does that have to do with feminine oh. or masculine? Oh, I, I don't know. And first of all, aren't there and such that things as power bottoms? Exactly what I want. There are, there are power bottoms. <laughs> that are masculine. <laughs> there are, I there can't are, handle <laughs> power bottoms. I've dated a power bottom briefly and it was weird. It was very weird. You want to go into the details or I'm, I'm kind of, I'm like, bra- want, I'm bracing myself. I don't know if I can I will handle if you it. you want. He was just like, uh, get me up and then uh, like oh, sitting on it. Gosh, and this is really happening. Fast and, yeah. Okay. All right, so carry on then. We're done with that. It's yeah. making you uncomfortable. <laughs> so we're done. No, I'm I'm fine. I'm fine. I can handle it. I'll handle it. All right. Um, power bottoms. Yeah. No, I I know uh, your place, bottoms. Don't be trying that crap with me. Yes, I'm kidding. indeed. I'm, kidding. I'm mostly. Well, kidding. So this is it's actually a, a very very long article, and and part of why I think this article is so long is because people are. He's just kind of trying to explore. He doesn't really know what what this is all about. Um, and as someone who knows. Catholic, Catholic transgender people, they, they have a very unique uh, viewpoint on things like that. I know one person in particular who actually um, still believes that, that marriage should be between a man and a woman. And it's like, but you're, you were born as a woman. So I don't, so it's, it's very weird. Oh, it's a, it's I've a strange... known trans people like that. There's one yeah. on a forum that I go to who's yeah. incredibly we're, conser- we're all... socially conservative, mm-hmm. but they make an exception for trans people. Yes. Like, okay, yeah. this is happening to me. I'm right. going to be incredibly myopic. And ignore all these other well, people who are different in some way. But my case, you know, I, and, and they're like, no, I, I have to be a heterosexual male. Mm-hmm. This is a F-, F to M. And I have to be a heterosexual male because homosexuality is wrong. Right. And, and, and I'm like, are you kidding me? Sorry, go on. No, it's, I, it, I, I get it. I mean, we're all, we're all different and it's hard. It's really hard. Like, you know, if you are that way, you're, you're going to. You're you're constantly doing gymnastics to make sense of the world and yeah, yeah it's, and that's it's why it's that's why religion is gymnastics. so harmful. It's just it's just in, an impediment to rational thinking. It is because rational thinking so, means believing what makes sense and not what you want to believe. I mean that's what it comes down to. I think on a certain level, and that's why I see going wrong so much is people who are married to a certain belief that maybe is comforting to them, but is not true. Mm. It simply is not true. It is not bared out by the evidence. Right and. Uh, and that doesn't help you with dealing with reality yeah, because reality will bite you in the ass. Mm-hmm. Okay. So speaking, or uh, yes. Yeah. So what makes sense? Uh, a lot of this article actually makes sense to me. I know it's like from a Catholic website, but like he brings up the fact that, you know, if you're born and you have a, you have an X and a Y chromosome, then that makes you male or that makes you, you know, not a woman. He doesn't necessarily say male. 
And right. I, I don't even, I can't, I feel like really weird. I have Does to he ever get this. into intersex individuals who have com, com, uh, they weird They do not discuss intersex people. Although it is mentioned conditions. in that little, little umbrella graphic, intersect is, okay. is part of that. All right. Um, which is absolutely without, a, without any doubt, a, a biological condition, not, not just some like men, <laughs> as he calls it, right. mental disorder. Right. Um, but, but it's in, it's tied together because you have hormones that your body's producing. For instance, you have wiring it's, in your. It's brain. all tied together. It's yeah. Really, yeah, mental stuff is physical so, to a large extent. So a lot of times, right. it's physical. If there, you have wiring in your brain that's a certain way. Yes, that's yes. physical. So this particular <laughs> article, that he's definitely talking from the perspective of a cisgender person who believes that there's only two genders. And like it's it's very Sorry, very, but very biology close-minded. argues but with I, that. I, I think that it's, <laughs> it's not, right. No, no, no. I know it does. Not that it does. Black it and does. White, right. Yeah. Like, and it's it's funny that he put um, uh, middle sexed or or not middle sexed. Oh, geez, what you just brought up. Right. What I'm saying is that physically, biology argues with that. Not just transgender people. No, I know. People. I know. Yeah. Yeah. But just want to be clear for our listeners. Right. But like, I I don't disagree with him. Like, if you are born with an X and Y chromosome, you're probably not a woman. But then again, like, if you're born with an X and X, that might not make you a woman either. Like, the, the answer is, yeah, none of this is true. And like, and he's talking about how um, he thinks it's a threat that that people have the right to choose their own like destiny or to make themselves into something that they're not. <laughs> and Humans have been doing that since forever. I don't know right. why. Why don't That's Catholics complain ta- like, that we're building planes and well, skyscrapers? Because like, it's you, unnatural. Right. That. Why are you going to put on or, pants or making med- or fixing medical conditions? Like, mm-hmm. what if you're born with a deformity that threatens your life, and we surgically alter you, and then you're able to live a normal life or close to a normal life? Why aren't they throwing a fit about those things? You know, <laughs> I, they probably there's there's some people who are. That's the but nature why, of humanity, why, is that we defy nat- nature, quote unquote. We defy, which I think is completely natural. If beavers build a dam, it's natural. But if we build a skyscraper, it's unnatural. Someone help me understand that. I thought we're animals just like everything else, and we do things, and the stuff we do is natural. Right. And he, he talks about how gender is a gift from God. And if you're, if you're sort of defying that, that paradigm or the, the way that gender is, that you're... That you're 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 throwing away. If and you're existing up a in a tortured God, state because of your gender, God. now you're, yes, that's a gift from God. You're existing in a tortured state. That tortured state that you're existing in because you don't no. feel right in your gender. That's a gift from God. That's what well, he said. I'm trying to keep it positive over here. Oh, I'm God, sorry, motherfucking okay. shit. So damn get it. to the positive part of this article. It sounds uh, like evil shit so far. So here's uh, whatever. I can't. I can't be positive. <laughs> so I can't. I can't be positive. Yeah. No. I know. It's fine. It's I thought fine. you were saying. No. You said something before. Like this article was surprising uh. in its, in in its um. No, I just I'm like and maybe bucking what we expect the Catholics to do about transgender. I thought that was the I thought that somewhere in the article. No, they, I'll explain in a moment. Okay, so there yeah. is something positive in it somewhere. Yeah, There's no, a glimmer I, at of least hope. I I took it as be, well. Oh. Yeah, it, this guy's trying to think through things at least. But anyway, we'll we'll talk about it in <laughs> a right. moment. All right, folks. Uh, Lauren's going to continue, and we're going to find out where Catholics aren't completely retarded in some particular respect about transgender issues. This is your host, Dale. And Lauren will be right back. And Neil. And Neil. Welcome back to Flaming Freedom, everyone. We were talking about Catholics possibly not being completely retarded. And uh, Lauren is going over an article where she experienced some optimism. There's some optimism you saw in this article. I just can't remember what it was because they totally <laughs> changed the whole damn article on me. Like, well, here's here's the thought I was having. I don't know if they made him change it. Like, maybe they what, made him like, change what it. Ha- like, maybe he was too. Maybe he was expressing views that the Catholic Church didn't approve of. Yeah, last they made night, him change the article. I don't know. I'm very frustrated, as you can probably tell. I wonder if you can I, dig up in Google archives, like look up the title of the right. article as it was, and maybe it's archived by Google. It'd be very fascinating to find out that he said things that were too pro transgender. And the Catholic Church didn't approve, and he had to change it. Yeah. I don't know. I'm speculating wildly here. I just want to be clear on that. Right. But that would be interesting if that was the case. Because you said there was something positive in this article, and now you're <laughs> struggling to find it. Right? Well, it, it was, I mean, no, I, I wasn't saying it was positive, but I was just saying that, like, I could definitely. There's something re- positive. I could relate to the, like, you know, they're saying, like, well, this is, this is, you shouldn't, you shouldn't think this about that, or, or gender is, should be celebrated. And it's like, yeah, I agree. Gender should be celebrated. And my gender is not male it's not female it's not any of that they can't be defined i'm celebrating 
Gosh, I'm, I'm like, I ran up the <laughs> stairs just now. I'm all a lot of breath. But I'm celebrating the fact that my gender is kind of cool. Like, mm. and yeah, yeah, I'm not, you know, I'm like, it's, I'm not male. I'm not female. I'm just me. Like, yeah, the, the spiritual being, my, like, my connectedness with God is more important than who I, well, that was kind of weird. I got a little weird mm-hmm. just now. But like, <laughs> oh my God, someone said God. I know, I said God. On Flaming Freedom. But like... You said the G word. Um, in a non-derogatory way. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but like that's that's the G word. The G spot. Um, but I'm... I'm that's okay. Like it's it's all right. Yeah. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not quite ready to say... I know we, we, we've said the word gender being fluid. I'm not sure. I, I think it might be wanna, for some people, but... I'm more. I, I I'd, I'd say it's non-binary. Like I don't think it's. No, it's not binary. It's not yeah. black and white. But if you want to call but me some male, people, like you can do that. That's yeah. okay. Like. But to say it's fluid implies that it's a choice, right. and from and it, and if it is a choice for you, I'd say that that's reflective of your particular wiring, because my particular wiring, it's really not. Yeah. Well, so if, fluid, but let's I let's mean, think about you know. like the fact that I I mean they say like well if you if you go through the surgery and you do this and you do that and you ch- like change yourself you're. You're the not surgery is yourself. also a misnomer. I know. Yeah. It, there's, there's, there's many multiple surgeries. different choices. And, and for, depending yeah. on who, yeah, you're, you, there's all kinds of You might stuff. do some and not others. Right. You might, whatever. But they talk yeah. about this, like, or like changing your physical appearance. It's like, okay, well, what about women that wear makeup? Or right. what about men that go to what the gym and work out? What about women who get out? breast implants? Or what about men that take vitamins? Yeah. Uh, you know, what if a man well, gets like, breast implants? Isn't exactly. that gender, a sort of gender, re- or women who get breast implants, right. isn't that gender reassignment? Of a, of a sort right. from be, to become more female, right? Or is it for a guy if he gets like enhancement, his genital enhancement stuff? There's a couple things for that. Is that male? Is that a kind of gender reassignment to being more male? Yeah. Right. What if are, are you less male because you had a smaller penis before I, I, and now you I have a bigger know. one? And uh, maybe are you more female because you have bigger breasts now? Perhaps. Because because some 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 people who are biologically female choose to have their breasts removed. They're not allowed to do that. Yeah, it's crazy. What if what some some women have to have their breasts removed for cancer? Are Catholics okay with that? But if someone does it so that they're not suicidal, that's not okay. Well, see, right, like, but that's what, what if that's they need more... to do it to not commit suicide? Uh, are right. Catholics? See, this is the let's, kind of thing I'm talking that... about. No, Catholics I know. Catholics are refusing that, to acknowledge really that serious. transgender people are killing themselves. Right, like that's serious, serious stuff, and we need to. So, we, so if you don't address these about problems. That, but... Right. If you're impeding and addressing these problems, you're responsible. You're respo- You're harming people. I was people. talking to a Catholic person, I wouldn't bring up suicide first because then it gets too emotional and then mm. they can't handle it. I would just talk about the fact if they say like, "Oh, hey, you're you're a, you're a dude," I'd be like, "Yeah, okay. I'm not going to disagree with you." Hmm. Let's talk about it some more. Like, yeah. go on. It's good to keep like, communication open. And just, You're I, right. I would just keep feeding into this, and I would say, uh, like, but that's all a right. fact. But we're talking facts so, here. The high am I going to hell or not? Let's do you just, not think let, that talking? Just, tell me if why am I going to hell? That's what I want to know. You don't think it's appropriate to bring up factual data that shows high rates of of suicide amongst trans people and how much it changes, how much lower that rate number goes if they are allowed it's to transition. It's important to bring that up. And in in the libertarian circles that we live in and work in, there's a lot of people that like to have debates and argue and get really passionate. And I love that. But most of the world doesn't want to. They they they'll, that's a fact though. That's not getting yeah, emotional. We, there's, there are, there's, there's data. Too much like objective data about people killing themselves. I'm not arguing with yeah. you. Okay. The, the whole point is I'm trying to say that we don't need to be arguing. I'm, I just figured I'd take the last show and say, hey, maybe we can try a different <laughs> what method instead of arguing. And now we're arguing about arguing. What the hell? <laughs> I didn't mean to, I didn't know I was getting I, you upset. Uh, no, I'm not upset. Actually. I'm saying this. How do we talk to Catholic people? Is sort I'm of the subject, pretending. right? This is, this is me being just, theatrical, okay. by the way. I'm just trying something <laughs> that was different. Good. You did it. Good. It was um, very convincing. I, I'm you. starting to feel I was feeling like, oh, dear, I, no, I crossed Dale, the line. Dale, we're really we're cool. All right. Yeah. No, it's, All right. It's we'll fun. have a couple of drinks after. And well, you got. Well, go I got to go. Yeah, we could. We, you could hang out in my car next, as I drive time, to work, and we could just. Next time when you're not going to work or something. We'll yeah, have we A couple should, of drinks. We we'll chill out. No, I'm. I, so. <laughs> I don't know. I don't we know never uh, we never are, uh, get heated like that out of the show. Really, I, I know. I'm trying. Lauren to... and I get along great. What else? What else do we need to do before before the show ends? What do we need? To... Yeah, like <laughs> this stuff. You want. What else, no, no, no. We let things... Neil talk about what he wants to talk about. We, we never had the topless episode. 
Although, actually, no, you guys had it. Way we back did. In the yeah. We did a yeah. topless episode All with right, Derek so we're, we're when we had there. Derek on. That was a long time ago. Yeah. Yeah, that was a, one of our early shows back when we were still in the Free Talk Live studios. Mm. Before we had our own studio. Which, by the way, the studio is continuing. Other people are going to continue to use it. I think SLA yes, still uses definitely. it and, mm-hmm. and uh, some other shows. Yep. So I will try to... Yeah. In fact, I might try to focus a little more on improving the studio, even though I'm not using it. I always thought, like, if I'm not using it, I'm afraid I won't maintain it. But I think I'll actually... Because it'll be more of like a business for to make it good for other people to use. So I think I might fix it better. We'll see. I'm right. not we'll sold out. on the color scheme. <laughs> it's the Flaming Freedom color scheme. I know, but yeah. it, the, the, it should be a rainbow. Oh, God. No. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. Now you're bringing up God. Up the ass. Oh. Oh, you should just. You sh- I'm going to shove a communion wafers up your behind. <laughs> I'm going to shove the body of Christ up your behind. This is Neil. the weirdest show. It's, it should be. It's so strange. It's the last one should be oh, weird. You know, Wait, what was, like, uh, go ahead. Go ahead. I was just going to bring up a totally different subject, but yeah. I was reading a story where in Russia, you know how all that homophobia and oh, yeah. bigotry and everything I else think is happening. Everyone knows about that. Yeah. First gay wedding happened in Russia. They were for, uh, they were forced to have it. You know why? Because a law born of uh, transphobia enabled the defeat of a law born of homophobia <laughs> so there there are two so women is one trans one okay. one is uh, a trans woman and uh, she uh, she was recognized and can only be recognized as a male and right. so they were forced to and they uh well they weren't forced to get married no no but, but the, they were able to get married because the, even though because she's not being recognized as female, she, so that it's considered a heterosexual. Wedding, Legally, they were right? forced to give the uh, give the wedding certificate. Okay, and they I, chose right. to get okay. married, and I they see. were both in uh, uh, bridesmaids' uh, dresses or what do you call that? Bride's dress, wedding, wedding dress. uh, dresses. Oh yeah. yeah, somebody's in a tizzy yeah. over that. Bride uh, dress. But, see, these are the dilemmas that are created by irrationality. Right, you're being completely rational. This is clearly a woman. But you insist it's a man, so now they can get married. <laughs> Congrats on your stupidity. Uh, the world, Flaming the Freedom. World. We'll be back in a moment with some more crazy stuff. Here's a quickie. Lucid dreaming people are apparently kind of smarter in certain ways than people who don't lucid dream. And I'm one of those people. Lauren, you said you're one of those people. And we're I, actually I finding out I'm Neil. Smarter. I just said that I lucid well, dream no, a lot. I know. Okay. The, the article says you're smarter. Okay. Whether or not pe- you, I know you don't necessarily... I haven't tested it yet. I, right. I don't know. I, Neil apparently lucid dreams some, mm-hmm. so he might also be smarter. I definitely don't feel smart. Most but of the there's time. certain tests that they can that they take that lucid dreamers apparently do significantly better on, according to a certain study. We'll link to the article. I'm not going to talk about it too much. Just sort of a thing I happened upon that I thought was fascinating because I've been a big time lucid dreamer for a long, long time. I have them very regularly. Mm-hmm. I consciously decided to start having them at some point, and that seems to be key. Like deciding you want to lucid dream is like the first step and then there's ways to i don't know that i ever decided that i want to though yeah i've never like desired it it's just always been there um but i think that's because i'm always always observing i think that may have i don't i'm not sure if i I can't remember if i had any lucid dreams before i made the conscious decision that i wanted to Mm. and i remember asking a friend of mine like how do you do it like i want to do that how do i and he said if there's something you could do that you want to learn how to do what would it be and i said i want to learn how to control my dreams yeah and he said okay and then after that, I started lucid dreaming, and I started having more and more dreams where I was controlling things. Hmm. But it was a rough ride, because he did warn me. He says, there's some crazy shit in your subconscious that you're going to have to face. You're going to dredge up some stuff down there. It's going to be scary. And sure enough, I had nightmares for about two or three years, mixed in with my lucid dreams. Yep. And eventually, I worked through it, and I don't have, didn't have them quite so much. I still have them occasionally, but hmm. I mean, most people have nightmares occasionally. Anyway, so th- there you go. There you go. Uh, so are Catholics okay with cannibalism? Since we were on the subject of Catholics, <laughs> we're just Catholicing <laughs> it up. The cracker. Tonight. The reason they're upset about the cracker, right? Are we allowed to say oh, cracker? You, is that racist? Um, is that a, is that is the c word a is it bad? The like, c word is different than cracker. Cracker is a c word. Okay. So crackers. Of cunt cracker, cracker, so the reason cracker, they're so upset really about like the cracker the way. Yeah. is because mm-hmm. they think the cracker is the body of Christ. They, they did a ritual. It's the body of Christ. So are they okay with cannibalism? Is uh, cannibalism okay in the Catholic Church? Because that's what they claim to be doing. 
I don't. Yeah, Worth absolutely. It it's it's, it's so. not so much I don't know. cannibalism as uh, the whole concept is sacrifice and human mm-hmm. sacrifice. And this has been thematic throughout uh, all of religious history is that. Um, well, what about self-sacrifice? Is that cool? No, that's terrible too. I know. But, yeah, but that's what but, Christ but, did. But right? for redemption, that's, that's another re- that's another recurring theme in religion. Go ahead, now. Go ahead. But but for the redemption of the many, one must be sacrificed, and there's there's a lot of bloodlust in uh, all of these religions. Oh, and, van, and, by the way, the Dracula totally inspired by the Catholic religion. Dracula yeah. is is all about like a uh, it's a parody of the Catholic religion and drinking the blood and getting eternal life. And vampires, all that stuff is totally steeped in Catholicism. Just so you know. No. Yeah. And um, so, it, it, talk about the, but the, the, the love self-sacrifice. for lapping up blood. You <laughs> yeah. know, it, it, just take a look at any of the crucifixes within the Catholic Church, and it's it's all. Um, uh, not only is it as detailed as possible. By the way, Jesus in those crucifixes has got a hot swimmer's bod. <laughs> um, right, right. But uh, but I mean, the, the they made Jesus hot. The blood is is uh, oh, deep priests. red. It's col- uh, you know, it's dripping down his face from the crown of thorns and from the. It's just it's so explicit, and they they revel in this, and uh, you know, revel. Yeah. No, it, it's so. Re- and here's the thing: self sacrifice. Mm-hmm. Oh, is okay. Well, the self sacrifice <laughs> aspect of this is a common religion theme too that really bugs me. As as someone who's objectivist ish, not objectivist, but kind oh, of objectivist ish, as it's I like you know, being is, is I don't buy into this sort of false piety. Is it piety? piety. This whole idea that that uh, if you if you suffer, it will make the world better. This is such screwed up thinking. Like if I, I if I'm out to make the world better, I'm going to do it in the best way, most effective way possible that results in the least suffering for everyone, including me. Right? That's the goal. Mm-hmm. And so the whole idea that just arbitrary suffering is going to make the world a better place is another religious concept that right. we've talked about on the show. This is the meta show. We're talking about the show. And we've talked about this many times about how religion pushes this idea that there's some kind of value to suffering. And this Sometimes is contrary are, to reality. There are clear, clear things, though, that say, like, if I do this, it is going to cause me suffering. Right. However, it will help these other people. Right. Like, no, no, like no. In Terminator no. 2, the guy Sometimes guy's, it's the a guy's price you have the... to pay. Like, if you work out, it's going to be troublesome, and you might experience soreness, and then there's a benefit. But not just because you suffered. Soreness? Not arbitrary Wait, suffering. Wait, what kind of suffering are you talking about? No, no pain, no gain, right? Oh, soreness. Oh, okay. So, if you if there's the no pain no gain concept, uh, I understand that sometimes you, there's a there, you have to do something that's difficult and that there is a there's a price you're paying, but the goal is something better in return, and it's not simply the fact that you suffered that caused goodness to happen. And see, that's part of the the ridiculous uh, belief system is that just arbitrary suffering is somehow making the world a better place. I mean, if you suffer, other people will be better off. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Because if it, if that was the case, I mean, like I would just go home and whip myself. Yeah, yeah. And that's and religious people have done that. In fact, that's that's a thing. A lot of monks, you know, were whip, whipping themselves because they had bad thoughts and ah, oh, it's retarded. Oh, bad thoughts. Exploiting religion and misogyny <laughs> to win wars. Oh, let's get back on track. Right. Um. So this is fascinating. Kurds send all female soldiers to fight ISIS. Does anyone else think of of Archer? Because there's a there, his group that he's a member. It was of. called ISIS. Yeah, no, I, ISIS. I haven't watched Archer. Oh, I love Archer. Archer is my it's it's the little devil on my shoulder. You know when you have the angel and the devil arguing. His name is Archer. Mine is Archer. Oh, the character Archer from that show. And then the angel on my shoulder is Satan. My little angel is Satan, and my little devil is Archer. Satan, Satan was an angel, wasn't he? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, so depending on the myth- mythology, depending on the particular mythology, it's it's all very confusing. No, I thought he. So all right. Uh, it's, it's, that's a very modern thing. I don't know. It, it just depends. Fallen which, angel. Yeah. No. There's a lot of, there's sort of a lot of modern Christian mythology. That's not really that deeply based in the Bible, sort of loosely based on it. Anyway, so Kurdish women are badass. Yeah. I love that right? opening line. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so apparently there are a lot of, uh, Muslims who are afraid that if they get, if they, if they get killed by a female fighter, they won't go to their, their jihad heaven. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> right. That's like. So, so that makes women incredibly powerful in an ironic way in the misogynist That's culture. That's so cool. So there's this misogynist culture that actually gives women a tremendous power. If they actually 
might kill you. Like you give them guns and they might kill you. Now you might not go to heaven. So they're afraid to fight. Yeah. <laughs> they're afraid to fight these women. So that's brilliant. That's like using their stupidity against them. This is a, <laughs> this is an objective case where you can take someone who has a stupid belief system and exploit that to take advantage of them. Mm -hmm. So once again, people let go of your stupid belief systems and face reality. Face reality because we, once again, reality will bite you in the ass if you're not, if you don't face it objectively. Right? Neil, and that's a sense of the sense, the sense of essentially the name objectivism comes from being facing objective reality with objectivity. Right? Is that oh, fair? The, oh, yeah. The attempt okay. at it. Right yeah. head on. Mm. I think this is brilliant. I love this. Like, if you, sh this is Darwinism in a kind of way, really. This is people dying off because they're so stupid. <laughs> and someone <laughs> exploiting that to, to uh, their advantage against their enemies. Hmm. That's brilliant. Kurdish women are badass. That's, so, that's cool. So uh, now there's this marriage, right? There's this marriage. Which marriage? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, there's this 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 barn, or a, there's this <laughs> place that has a barn. <laughs> uh, it is kind of quaint. There's a quaintness uh, to this barn. They show it set up for a marriage, for like a reception after a marriage or whatever. It's quaint. It's lovely. It, it's got straw on the ground. The barn's kind of pretty, and, and they've got flowers and... Mm -hmm. And wood centerpieces and everything. It, there's certainly a quaintness to it. I can see the appeal. Yep. Uh, as much I might poke fun a little bit. It really, you know. So they have weddings there. And it's a little family farm. Yeah. And someone wanted to have a gay wedding there. Mm -hmm. And they said, no. Mm -hmm. We're going to do a gay wedding. And then, then the government was saying, you have to. You yeah. You have to do it. Or we're going to charge you $13,000 fine or something. All right. So, we'll and I, I don't think they should have to do the wedding. But my reasons for it are very different than their reasons. Like, they give conservative stupid reasons. I have valid reasons. They're libertarian. When we come back, this is Flaming Freedom. Stay tuned. Welcome back, folks. This is your host, Dale. And Lauren. And Neil. On the very last segment of the very last episode of Flaming Freedom, uh, at least maybe, for a while. Maybe. Maybe. You never for, know. Depends on if I'm here. So, we'll see. But mm -hmm. meanwhile, I think this is an excellent subject to kind of end on, because it, it, it's, it really gets... It's it's probably a key issue where libertarians have a different take on things than maybe your traditional LGBT folks. Yeah. We're all LGBT here, everyone at the table. Uh, everyone on the show is I don't LGBT. Know if I really fit in. You you don't think you're I'm trans? Kidding. Yeah. So um <laughs> we're all uh, somewhere on that on that LGBT spectrum. And I believe we're all, we're all libertarian. And so this farm mm. being forced to yeah I'm sorry. This farm is being forced to, we never did actually get to address that. Maybe the next time you take over, we'll talk about whether you're libertarian. So this farm is being forced to do a marriage for a gay couple or be fined $13,000. Now, I don't believe they should be forced to marry this gay couple. I, yeah, I, I would not, agree. No. But now the we reasons they give in this article, I have a big beef with. Right? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call them out on, being, on their consistency here because I'm consistent about this. I don't support discrimination law as a libertarian. I don't think you should be forced to serve black people or Asians or Christians or Satanists or uh, Jews or, uh, or who or else? White people. What are other reasons? White people. Genders. Genders. You can yeah. serve only men. Wait, what's you can gender? serve only Hold women. On. You can serve only middle of the ground people who are somewhere in the middle. You can do whatever you want. You should only have. You should never be forced to serve someone as a customer. You should never be forced to hire someone. I consistently believe this. I know that's kind of radical for a lot of people. <laughs> so I don't think this this the, far, the family farm should be forced to marry a gay couple. Now that said, this the arguments they're making are absolute crap, and they're completely inconsistent because they're they're arguing that well, in a free society, the answer is no. So I, what I would ask these the people is, no, no, th no they should Just not be clarify. forced to do it. They should not be forced to marry them. This is the article is from the Daily Signal. Okay. This okay. sounds like a conservative article. Mm -hmm. Family farms should be free to, to operate in accordance with the beliefs and values of their owners. I agree with that statement. Yep. Government shouldn't be able to find citizens for acting in the market according to their own rather than the government's values unless there's a compelling government interest being pursued in the least restrictive ways possible. I don't know what they mean by that. But I don't think that, for instance, if this farm didn't want to marry someone because they were Jewish, they shouldn't have to. But I'm not sure if they would feel that way. Uh, or for a racial reason, they shouldn't have to. Whatever. Whatever reason they want. 
But what I what I feel like they're arguing here is that they should they should get a special religious exception because I have religious views against this particular kind of thing, the, this particular kind of discrimination, mm-hmm. or or actually for allowing this kind of discrimination. Excuse me. So there should be an exception made, and that's where I have a beef with them. Like, no, do you look if you're if you're ready to come if you're ready to join join up and end discrimination laws with me, I'm there with you. I'm there with you. But there are people who are just, there's no particular reason why this should be treated different than any other discrimination. I mean, yeah, if the government's yes. going to say you can't not marry this black couple or this mixed race couple, for instance, if the government says, no, no, you can't decide not to marry, not to, not, you can't reject them as customers because they're mixed race, then they, then it, for consistency, then I don't see why they should not be able to force them to marry a gay couple. But, but I wouldn't ever push for this as a libertarian. I would never push to make a company to try and add gay people to the discrimination laws. I don't want to become a part of that mess. I'm not trying to, excuse me, I can't get, in, I can't get on board with that. Right. It's no, not, I not, understand why we have discrimination laws or why that there are like, lawyers exist. I mean, because <laughs> like, yeah. I, I get it because we have the system. We have government, government exists. So therefore yeah. lawyers exist. And there are <laughs> right. good lawyers out there who are trying to advocate for more rights for people. And it, that, that's great. Yeah. But yeah, we live in this. Well, world and, 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 and I don't think the government itself should discriminate. It also becomes a liability, too, as an employer, if you are looking at hiring a protected class of uh, people due to anti-discrimination laws, then you are, uh, if it ever comes time to fire someone for genuine or whatever reason, you know, then there is that possibility that they take up that cause that is, oh, well, it's because I'm X, Y, Z, whatever. Or I have chromosomes X, Y, and I'm expressing as XX or whatever. What have you? Uh, I would say, as an employer, Ooh. there there's a reasonable and and somewhat rational tendency to to drift away from that um, hiring that individual. Mm, if yeah. if one's because it's greatest a, it's a legal concern issue. is like, about you might liability. want to hire them, but you're afraid they're going to sue you later if you fire them for a legitimate reason. Yeah, because right. it, it becomes a liability. Exactly. Like it, it's easier to not hire them in the first place, and and although you could be sued for that, yeah, right? if not hiring someone, you might get sued for that. But like you said, Neil, it becomes a legal liability once they're on the payrolls, and at some point you decide to fire them, you're you're at a risk that they're going to pull that card. They can mm-hmm. use they can pull the government force card and say, no, no, you're not firing me. I think you're firing me because. I'm black or because I'm gay or because I'm trans or because I'm Jewish, whatever. So here they say here, um, uh, it, the, the, uh, New York state division of human rights fined Cynthia and Robert Gifford 13,000 for acting on their belief that marriage is the union of a man and a woman and thus declining to rent out their f- family farm for a same sex wedding ser- ce- celebration. Okay. So, so what if they're acting on their belief that marriage is between people of the same race? That's a belief that some people have. Yeah. Less people no, I, than used to. And, and see, I don't think they would necessarily, I don't think they would, I think they would not be consistent on that. If I ask these people, I'm curious, I'm tempted to leave a comment here if I can say, hey, so if their, if their belief, if their sincere belief is that people should not cross marry across, uh, across racial lines, mm-hmm. should they, should the government, do you think the government should be able to find them for that? Yeah, the government should just be able to just screw us all the time. Yes. That would be great. <laughs> I, I, you know, let me just bend over. Hey, so that's the little thing that says... We have four minutes left yeah. in the show, mm-hmm. and we're going to talk about Tinky meta Mickey. stuff. I guess. Lauren, you had some things you wanted to say. You know, I, I did, and now I'm all kind of... In the last four minutes of the show. I just wanted to say how, <laughs> how incredible this show has been, and it, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for this show. I wouldn't mm. exist. I don't think. I don't you, really. Yeah, like wow. this has been. This has changed who I am and what I am. And oh yeah, it's it's been incredible. I I'm very thankful that you guys have done what you've done, and and I'm glad I could be a part of it. Well, me too. Then. I'm very I'm honored very, to, very to have had this opportunity. That. Yeah, that's great. And what about uh, you, Neil? Has it changed you? Oh, it's it's taken up two hours of my life every <laughs> Sunday. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> Play the, let me play the little miniature violin. It's made it a lot violin. harder to run for political office. Here, here's right? me playing the little yeah. miniature violin yeah. for you. But oh. for me, like I feel like I could, I it's benefited me. Like I could actually run for political office now because I'm, I am more comfortable with who I am, and um, 
yeah like and i can actually like speak and be like a real person now well, that's wonderful it's, like you said that you tremendous. did that when we invited you to speak on the show you were very reluctant oh, yeah. but no, you did it and I'm then not, that burst a bubble for you sort of it sort of burst your speak speaking cherry sort of yeah well i i would say that it, it might not just be the show it might also be the fact that i'm i'm taking Drugs. Well, and uh, hormones. I, I think. Well, I think uh, if you, you if know, you are trans and going through that, I think it definitely boosts your confidence. Right, but right. a lot of like learning about what even what being trans is 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 just, okay. Is, so yeah, we helped like, you with that. Helped you a lot. Yeah. Oh wow. I okay. should. Oh, I should. You know, I should have read the the letter that I wrote to Neil like uh, three or four years ago. Oh well, we can uh. link to it. If yeah, you, you want to put, I, I, do it, shall I we link it to it? Okay. We can put it, I'll put it up Lauren on the page. is going to give me something and we'll put it. Right, I'll, I'll just do it myself. She can just do it, yeah. right? So we'll link to that from the show page, a uh, letter she wrote to Neil a while back. She wrote to Neil, not me, so I'm a little hurt. But well, because he was on <laughs> Facebook. That's why. Oh, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Facebook, so, Facebook hate. There is that. Anyway, I, I really appreciate it. And it's been an honor being, being able to be here with you guys. That's all I wanted to say. Yeah. Oh, um, well, thank you. As well, I like to think that hmm, I've gotten confidence, I think, from being on the show and doing the show. I've got to air a lot of crap. <laughs> I get to, you know, vent every week. It's probably mm-hmm. been therapeutic in a lot of ways. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Neil, what else? Um, I don't know. It's given me a chance to look at porn on my computer. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, you know, uh, I'm actually looking at some right now. Where was it? Really? Where I'm I'm not looking at Because you mentioned the heterosexual right now, couple. Ready? Ready? And I have oh. this like heterosexual couple. Uh Oh, wait. How is that I a heterosexual? That. Yeah, couple? it's How is that a hetero couple? It because it's Oh, it's because, Bailey J. Yeah, cuz one oh of them is gosh. is a trans woman. Oh, oh, okay. You're yeah. being sarcastic. Okay. No, well, they're no, not a heterosexual couple. They're not. I don't know. Are they? Maybe they are. Maybe <laughs> according they are. To, according to Russia, right? They yes, are. Yes, yes. And that made, that made me think of it. I was yeah, like, oh, look, exactly. there's a heterosexual couple. <laughs> exactly. Anyway, it's been a lot of fun, and I've, I've really loved it. Well, bye moment. for now, folks. Uh, yeah. This has been Flaming Freedom. We'll be back much later. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Good night. <laughs>